right? Leo the lion says grr. One more thing on this panel we want to know. Let me drop this down. And that is, we're told, redox reactions conserve mass and charge. All right? They conserve mass and charge. But what does that mean? That means they have to balance in terms of atoms and in terms of charges. So if you look at the first reaction, all the way up on top, the total charge on both sides is plus two, and the atoms balance. Let's do another one to practice. Now suppose we did this. Suppose we did Na plus Mg plus two yields Mg plus Na plus one. Now the atoms balance in this case, one Na, one Na, one Mg and one Mg, but the charges don't balance. Because the total charge on this side, the Na is zero, the Mg is plus two. So the total charge on this side is plus two, while the total charge on the right side is plus one. So there's a charge imbalance. And in order to balance this, we have to change the coefficients, which at the moment are one, 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 and one. Remember, the coefficient of one is always assumed. So, to increase the amount of charge on the right side, we'd have to multiply this, this Na by two. So we'd have two times plus one, giving you a positive two charge on the right, which counters the positive two charge on the left. But the instant you do that, two Na's, you've changed the number of sodium atoms. So you have to put two here. So now the atoms balance and the charges balance. And hence, redox reactions conserve mass and charge. All right, let's do another one for practice. Suppose we had calcium plus aluminum three. And let's say that produces aluminum zero and calcium plus two. And I'll place the zero here for emphasis, but typically they don't write the zero in when it's an element by itself, a free or uncombined element. Okay, so we have a discrepancy and an imbalance here in the charges. Look, plus three and plus two. The only way to remedy that, to balance it, is to change the coefficients of the charged particles. And since three and two go into six as their first multiple, you could multiply this by two to get a plus six, and this by three to get a plus six. And now, finish it off by balancing the atoms. You now have three CAs here. There's only one here. So put a three here. And there's two ALs on the left, and there's only one here. So put a two here. And so your total charge on both sides, which is plus six in this example, and the total number of atoms, balance. All right, redox reactions conserve mass and charge. We'll